Why is everyone so freaked out tonight? All this Michael Myers crap. Hello, huge movie fanatic Nate, stopping on by, continuing my showcasing of, I guess what you could actually call, uh, retro DVDs. I'm showcasing the very first North American DVD releases from the first five films of the Halloween franchise. I'm coming at you to uh, showcase these these next two movies, and this one in this video, and then the one I'll show in the next video, of course. These might be not known to a lot of you guys. I mean, I, I had these in my collection. I haven't even looked at these for quite a long time. Back in the day, in the 90s and stuff, the home video, mostly on VHS, the home video format, one of the, the names or the distributor names that was, you know, one, a person didn't want to see on the back of a title that they wanted to buy on VHS because it often meant that it was going to be in an LP mode on, you know, the speed LP mode. Or, I don't know if it was, I think it was mostly LP with Good Times Home Video. Good Times Home Video really didn't mean Good Times on Home Video on VHS era, if you know what I mean, because I think that releases were often, if not extended play, for sure they were L LP, which is, what's that stand for? A long play or something like that? So if you got a movie that you really liked and unfortunately you'd find out it was on Good Times Home Video, it wouldn't really make for a good time, as I've already said. But that would change in 1998 when Good Times started putting out DVDs. I was very, very, very amazed in 1998 when Good Times would be the, the outfit that would actually be the very first outfit to put, you know, re release in a widescreen version to boot of Halloween 2 on DVD, distributed by Good Times. Home video in 19... Or, I mean, yeah, 1998. And... I couldn't believe it, you know, that we're finally, and of course I'm, I'm pretty sure I knew the movie was Panavision, you know, in the 80s, you know, watching it in the late 80s and all the way up to 98 on, on VHS because you could see that, you know, it was either panning and scanning or it was just, you could just tell that it was probably really one of those wide movies and it was like, oh my god, you know, not, it's, it's, Good Times has actually gone from Bad Times to, you know, living up to their name in 98 by releasing Halloween 2 uh, as I said, on DVD with frickin' widescreen, and it was just like, holy crap, and it's not anamorphic widescreen, but it's widescreen nonetheless, and this DVD, even now, the image quality is in really, really pretty good, really pretty good quality, and it was just like such a treat back in 1998 to be able to have this on DVD, widescreen finally, and I don't remember what the hell this would have cost, um, I really can't remember, you know, what it cost, but I mean, price isn't a, isn't a thing, in 1998 with, with Halloween 2 and widescreen on DVD. This is, uh, the artwork is just so, I'm pretty sure they put, you know, maybe they put this out on, on tape 2, or maybe they had this out on tape before DVD and they used this artwork, but this artwork is just so horribly bad that it's almost good. It's just like, and I had to show, show this to you guys. It's just like, oh my god. Um, you've got a picture there from Halloween 1, of course, of Michael. And, I mean, just, like I say, this artwork is so bad that it might actually be good. Um, good kind of bad. It's just like really bad, but you, you know. And here's, here's the spine in a completely different like font than what it is on the cover, which is just, it's just hilarious. Once again, here's the cover, you know, and the spine's font is completely different. And this is an image here, if, if if memory serves from uh, Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, that's, I think that's the Halloween 6 Michael mask, I think, which is hilarious. Um, and then I think that is an actual picture of Michael from Halloween 2, because you can see he's got the, the scalpel. But what, what's so funny is, you know, this is only year two of DVD's existence. What they often did in the first, second years is they had a picture of, you know, <laughs> the menu on the back of I mean, it was a selling point for DVD when it first came out, like, you know, and it was a big deal. It would be, like, in interactive menus, and to actually have a picture of the menu on the back of the cover was just a riot. This, I wonder if this is worth money. This is just so cool to me. I, I, this was in a pile forever, for years and years and years, and I completely forgot that I really even had this, and, and the artwork how it was just so dumb. But the fun doesn't end there. Uh, the packaging they chose was the, the packaging that Warner Brothers was going with in, you know, the early years of DVD. And a packaging they swore at the beginning of DVD era that they'd never abandon this stupid, I forgot what they call it, the, uh, I don't know, I don't know what they called it. But this, this was, this packaging just infuriated me from day one, and probably a lot of other people too. 
the fun doesn't stop there with the artwork. You've got, um, oh my god, the scene index here on the inside. The, once again, the shot of Michael burning on fire, the stuntman. It's like they took a picture of the t of the movie playing on the TV. To, I mean, it's just, the resolution is just so horrible. I bet it is a picture of the movie off TV. And to be honest, maybe this picture of Michael on top here is the same thing as well. And then you've got a picture on the disc here of, uh, <clears throat> once again, the mask from probably Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Um, but isn't this just fun? The very first DVD release of Halloween 2 by Good Times. Um, isn't this just fun? It's just like people with no sense of like graphic design whatsoever being in charge of the very first North American DVD release of Halloween 2. But as I said, you know, artwork aside, this disc actually sports, still by today's standards, a really, really decent non-anamorphic widescreen presentation of the movie. And I think the stereo, the sound I think isn't great, is, I think it looks and sounds great. So if you can get past, you know, the artwork, which, you know, I think, like as I said, I mean, it's, it's so bad it's actually kind of fun. Um, the disc itself, from a, you know, a picture and audio standpoint, is actually surprisingly good. And it, it was just so fun in 1998, going from dreading Good Times Home Video to all of a sudden, like, holy crap, the version of this movie on DVD is so good that they're finally living up to their name. So I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see this release of, of Halloween 2 on DVD if you've never seen it before. As I said, I forgot all about this release and it's just so fun. I just have to keep putting it back in the shot. It's just so fun and dumb at the same time. So thank you very much for watching this video and as always we'll catch you on the next one. You don't really know much about how <laughs> To us it was a way... Oh wait, this isn't that movie. What an idiot. I'm quoting Halloween 3. This is 2. Why is everyone so freaked and out? Freaked out? Okay. Why is everyone so freaked out tonight? All this Michael Myers crap.